So what do you got going on here? <laughs> well, the motor placement's different now, so there's a big hole here that I have to close up for the burst panel for the for the blow off on the intake. So we have to cut this out and make a new panel so that okay. it looks well, looks good, and, and functions well. You know? So that's what we're working on here. We're at Fuel Tech in, in Georgia. We're gonna put on the hub dyno tomorrow and uh, get our new E-gate dialed in. So that's our plan. And we'll uh, we'll go from there. We'll check back in shortly. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to go ahead and put this on a time lapse. Looks like we got Ty took over the plate duties. What do you got going on here? So right now, um, kind of picking up where TJ left off. He finished cutting the top piece. So now, since the top piece is done, you got to finish the bottom because it needs to support all the way through. So once I finish this, bolting the plates together, we're going to put it back on the car and then we're going to try to fit the stack that comes through this hole a little bit better only reason why just so when we go down the track the wind does not push down on the windshield because you'd be surprised how much stuff happens at 200 mile an hour so yeah that. and now you're the driver right yes yeah i'm the driver uh started racing it when i was 17 just coming out of high school uh right now i'm 24 so I mean, uh, right now we raced the uh, 10.5 Outlaw class. I've been doing that for about three years now with PDRA. So we're getting ready for a World Series of Pro Mod. We're actually down the street from Fuel Tech, trying to put on the hub dyno tomorrow, test out our new E-Gate, new turbos, and a couple other little things we've done. Uh, trying to get ready for the season. You know, want to be the fastest car in the class. Yeah. Well everyone does it's just you got to put in the work oh yeah and that's oh. what we're doing right now oh yeah we put in the work all winter so now it's time to see if she can shine all right and now this stack that ty was just talking about <clears throat> is actually this guy right here there's a burst disc inside that is a safety item required so with this hole 
if the burst disc goes off, it doesn't blow the front end apart. All right, so what do we got going on here now? Checking valve lash, maintenance. Maintenance, general maintenance? General maintenance, you know? Preventative maintenance, so everything's fresh, you know, everything's brand new and rebuilt for this year and just going over things, that's all. That's all. This is it right here. We just did all titanium bolts on this. Um, all the fabrication, really. Did everything, really. New turbos. Precisions. And what size are these turbos? Uh, they're 94 millimeters. The latest, greatest XPRs. You know. We just went to the new E-Gate deal here, which is why we're down fuel tech. Oh, look at that. So. Yeah. So now your boost control is on the cold side. Correct. No instead more gates. of the hot side. No, no more waste gates. We got dumped. We tried to take some weight out of the car. And you only can do so much with the rules and the class we run then. So we uh, opted to dump the gates, go to the E-Gate, which seems to be having some success with the Pro Mod guys. I mean, Sorry about that, motorcycle. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it, it, it shows promise. I mean, Mark Mickey, you got Todd Moyer running that gate, and listen, hey, they're flying. Turbo cars are now back and running up front, so you got, you, can, you got to adapt and evolve to run up front with these guys, and that's what we're doing, so we, we, we're, we're fast already. But we want to be faster, you know, so. All right, taking home some trophies this year is the goal. Yeah, that's it. Well, I'm pretty sure that the viewers are familiar with what Valve Lash is. If not, leave in the comments below uh, <laughs> if you don't know what it is and maybe someone can explain it to you or one of us. Valve Lash, basically, you're checking the distance and air gap between this rocker arm and that top of that valve. All right, because as this thing heats up and gains temperature, it expands, it wants to grow. So you have to compensate for that. If not, it'll hang the valve open, it could drop a valve, you know, it could uh, misfire, anything. I mean, we're at... Or even if it's too loose, you lose power. 100%, yeah. It's, it's, you're, you're talking a ten thousandths of an air gap, which is a piece of paper. That's, that's the window we have to work with, you know. But we check every run, every every comeback from every run, we run the valves, you know. 99% of the time, we don't touch them, they're good. You know, they're the best of the best, all Jessel stuff, you know, our push rods or drumsticks, you know what I mean? Like this stuff's, you know, it's, it's, it's good stuff and, and it's, it's made for high horsepower applications and that's what we're doing with it. <laughs> so hopefully tomorrow we get to see close to 4,500 to the wheels. That's, our, that's the plan. I'm not trying to kill it, you know what I mean? We don't need to, to see horsepower numbers. We know that on the track. We're trying to get the gate dialed in because it's a percentage now. So. Oh, I think it was kind of cool, yeah. A little Jaguar or something. So, that's where we're at. All right, bye. All right, we're oh, hold on. Hold on, we gotta tighten up a fuel line here. I'll just edit this out. <laughs> edit this out. He said, hey, listen, I caught it before it happened, so we're still in the good. All right, so we went over everything, tested all the outputs, inputs. First test fire. We're also going to test the transmission, roll through the gears.
sucked my motherfucking shirt in, bro. I ain't never done that shit before. I felt it. I felt it go pull my shirt, dude. Remember we used to be able to stop it with our hands? Yeah, I stopped him, but dude, that thing, I could stand here before and rev this thing up with a t-shirt on. I got a hoodie on right now, dude, and not do nothing. I'm telling you. He, they guaranteed 500 extra horsepower. We'll see. Can't wait. So first test fire, looks like it was a great success. Went through all the gears. She's money. She's money? Ready to rock. All right. Now, we're gonna get this all buttoned back up. And tomorrow morning is our appointment with Fuel Tech. We'll see you then. today we're going to put our stuff on a dyno and uh dial this thing in so let's, let's walk in here i'll show you guys what's going on basically it's going to be on the hub dyno everything's fresh ready to go i'm going to check all the inputs the outputs make sure everything's working properly so we're not wasting anybody's time and then uh we'll check back here shortly all right
about to do a spool test right now. So make sure the E gate just pretty much makes the boost what we want to make, and then nothing happens. So okay, let's we'll see what happens. Take it to the gear change. Cool. That's it. We're uh, fuels topped off. Yes.
so basically, guys, what we got going on is um, we got the E-Gate pretty much. It's close. It's really close. We're going to make one more pull, possibly one more after that. Um, so far, on 30 pounds of boost, we're at 3,000 horsepower. So we're right on target for what we want. Um, basically, we're going to make one, one more pass around 40, 45 pounds. See what that gives us. See what the changes on the E-Gate gave us. Um, if everything looks good, we're going we're gonna to send it. See what happens. See if we can uh, see something 4,500, maybe, you know? But stay tuned. We'll go from there. So it's the end of the day. Uh -huh. Give us a rundown on what happened. Success. That's what happens. Um, everything worked out good. E gate is pretty much 99% dialed in. We think minus going to the racetrack. Obviously, things change. Um, made good power, respectable power with what we wanted. I mean, there's there's a lot left on the table, but there's no need to kill our stuff. We're trying to go win 30 grand. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we're happy. Everything was good, worked out good. Um, all of our issues are now addressed and fixed. All in all, we're happy. Everything worked out as expected, honestly. The car functioned after all the changes we did. You know, everything me and him did over the winter time, pretty much, it worked. This was a, a, a demonstration of that, honestly. I mean, everything worked out really well. Nothing broke, nothing leaked. Can't ask for nothing else, man. Nothing.